start memorizing the Quran in 2024. Make 2024 the year that you connect with the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This year, you need to decide that you're going to connect with the book of Allah and fulfill your lifelong dream of becoming a hafiz or a hafizah insha'Allah. Connecting with the Quran is no small thing. It is indeed the most beautiful word in the world. There is nothing that comes close to it. Think to yourself, how many times have you been listening to a reciter reciting the Quran and the ayah, they come to the ayah of rahmah, they come to the ayah of punishment and they can't control themselves and they begin to get emotional and they start crying. Think of the times when their emotion hits your emotion, when the word of Allah hits you, whether it's the beauty of the recitation, whether it's the emotion that they're putting into the ayah, whether it's the meaning that comes to you of the ayah that you read the meaning of or you heard a scholar talking about, you're overcome that you want to memorize the Quran. That's the emotion that you need to continue. But with that emotion, make the intention. And this is the perfect time that you can make the intention that you will memorize the Quran. Memorization of the Quran is so beautiful because not only do you feel yourself progressing and connecting with Allah, our Creator, but for every single letter, you get 10 rewards. How great is this? Not only are you learning more of the Quran so you can improve yourself, improve your prayer, become an example of those people who live with you, but you also get rewarded for every single letter. Don't let another year go by. 2023 ended and you need to ask yourself the question, did I memorize anything from the Quran? Did I learn anything from the Quran? Did I increase my knowledge of the Quran? And if you didn't, no problem. Make tawbah, make intention, and this year make it the year where you will start learning from the Book of Allah. Let me leave you with some of the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about this book and talks about time. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن هذا القرآن يهدي للتي هي أقوم هي أقوم ويبشر المؤمنين الذين يعملون الصالحات أن لهم أجرا كبيرا وَأَنَّ الَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْآخِرَةِ أَعْتَدْنَا لَهُمْ عَذَابًا أَلِيمًا وَيَدْعُ الْإِنسَانِ بِالشَّرِّ دُعَاءَهُ بِالْخَيْرِ وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولًا وَجَعَلْنَا اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارَ نهار آيتين فمحونا آية الليل وجعلنا آية النهار مبصرة لتبتغوا لتبتغوا فضلا من ربكم ولتعلموا عدد السنين والحساب وكل شيء in these verses, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about his beautiful Quran. He talks about time. He says, Indeed, in Ladina This book, this Quran, in Hadal Quran, Yahdi Lilati Hiya Aqwam is a guidance for those who are upright. And it gives glad tidings to the believers. The believers who do what? They do good deeds. And because of the guidance that they take from the Quran, and they take the glad tidings from the Quran, and they affirm themselves as believers with good deeds. 
And let's take this example of good deeds of memorizing the Quran. That for them is a big reward, a great reward. And that those who do not believe in the hereafter, we have prepared for them a painful punishment. And furthermore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the dua that people make. And indeed, man makes dua for evil as he makes dua for good. What does this mean? I mean, sometimes, you know, we would ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in haste, in error of something which is bad. Just like we make dua for a lot which is good. And man is in a hurry. Man is in a hurry. And this is the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he does not answer those du'as that we make for bad, for evil. Now many times we might be you know, thinking, okay, why are we going to make du'a for something which is a sin? No, it's not about sin. It's for something that would not be of our benefit. And Allah protects us by not granting that du'a. And that's why we should always be careful, always consider what we're making du'a for. But in the next verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and he has made the day and the night two signs. And he has erased the sign of the night with darkness. And he has made the sign of the day visible. Why? So that you may seek the bounties of your Lord. That means going out to work and doing business and earning your living. So he's made the night and day alternate so that you may count. So you know the years, the number of the years. And reckoning, meaning accounting. So how? Account for yourself. How many years have gone by that you haven't memorized the Quran? Account for yourself. Make this the year. You count that you memorize the Quran, inshallah. And we have explained everything in detail. So these are beautiful verses of the Quran that you can take, inshallah, and you can use them as motivation to memorize the Quran and make 2024 the year when you can connect with the Book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.